Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a New Year's Eve glam with a pop of colour. Um, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. This palette has amazing metallic and matte colours and you can achieve nearly any look with them. So um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I hope you like this look. If you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep watching. And also leave a comment um, below of any other looks that you'd like me to do in the future. Now for eye makeup base, I've used the Inglot Makeup Primer, which is in just number one. And then I've set it with some Maybelline Loose Powder in the shade one. Now for my transition shade, I'm using the color Sherbet from the Self Made Palette. And I'm just trying to blend that out as much as possible. Then for the edges of my lid, I've used the shade Witchy from the same palette. Remember, we're using this one palette for the whole eye look. And I've added it like a eyeliner, but sort of smudged and then a bit up, like higher. And I've blended it out with a fluffy brush. For the centre of my lid we're going to use the shade Self Made and we're just going to dab it on in the centre. Then for the inner corners we're going to use the shade Pink Champagne and blend it into the shade Self Made. Then we're going to use Spirit Rock applying it as close as possible to the lash line to create a eyeliner effect. You don't have to be exactly precise and create an exactly straight line. Um, we're going to be blending it out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This will create just a smoky sort of effect. For eyeliner, we're using Motive's Little Black Dress Gel Liner, and we're going to add it as close as possible to the lash line. We're not trying to achieve a very like dramatic wing here, just want to fill in the gaps and just make it a bit more glamorous. Then we're going to go back in with that shadow from the um, palette Spirit Rock and just set it and sort of like blend it out. Now I'm curling my lashes and I'm using the Basanfatur Orient Mascara in the shade Black. For lashes, I'll be using the 120 Demis uh, from Ardell, my all-time favourite for a natural sort of glamorous effect. Just applying those with tweezers. I've gone back in with that gel liner from Motives in the shade Little Black Dress and I'm applying it to my waterline. So my lower waterline and my upper waterline I guess you'd call it, I'm not sure exactly but you get what I mean. For face primer, I'm using the Inglot Makeup Base Primer. For foundation, we're using Chanel's Vita Lumiere, I guess that's how you pronounce it, in the shade Shell. This foundation is incredible. It finish, like Its finish is so amazing. It looks like you've been photoshopped in real life. So I've applied it with the foundation brush, now I'm using a Kabuki flat top brush to blend it out. For concealer I'm using the Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light Pale, my all time favourite. And I'm just going to conceal the areas that I want to conceal and also highlight at the same time.
today I'm going to be contouring with a cream contour from K Stars, which is a combi foundation in the palette C. And I'm using a damp blender, beauty blender I guess, or it's from Chi Chi, um, to blend it out. Make sure it's always damp, it works the best when it's damped. To set the areas that I've concealed, I'm using Revlon's Colorstay Translucent Powder. This translucent powder sits on your face like it's cooling, like it's a pack of ice, literally. It is so cooling and refreshing, it's amazing. And it's so perfect like to set any makeup with. It's just amazing, I reckon. Now while the translucent powder sets, we're going to finish off the lower lash. For the lower lash, we're using the shade Deep Purple from the Anastasia palette. Making sure to blend it out as much as possible so there's no harsh lines. Now for the inner corner I'm using the shade Treasure. I did apply pink champagne and it did go down, like I did apply it further down but it just gives it an extra pop that Treasure shade. For my eyebrows I'm using the palette NYX in the shade Brunette and I'm using the lighter shade. Now I'm not blonde but um, I don't like having really dark eyebrows. To finish off my look, I'm adding a bit more mascara to my upper and lower lashes. Now for bronzer, I'm using the Revlon bronzer in the shade P in the palette Peach, I guess, number 10. And I'm just applying it to the areas that I've also contoured. I'm not using a powder contour today. I'm just giving my face a bit of colour. I've used the upper three shades from that palette. For highlighter, I'm using the Clinique eyeshadow, uh, Daybreak, and I've seen a lot of beauty gurus do this, where they damp their highlighter brush and they apply their highlighter and it really does look amazing. I love it.
for blush I'm using Precious Poise by Clinique. To line my lips I'm using Bassin Fatour in the shade Werde, my all time favourite lip liner and I'm applying it as a lip liner and then all over my lips. And for lipstick, I'm using Rocas, Rochas, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, in Tender Beige. It's a very nude colour and it looks amazing when it's blended with this lip liner. And to finish off the look, I'm setting my makeup with an Inglot makeup setting spray. And yeah, that's the look. I hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you guys all a happy new year and a Merry Christmas.